Good morning and welcome to another vlog. So as you can see behind me, that is the entrance to Paulton's Park, the home of Peppa Pig World. So we've come here. It's actually Sunday the Sunday the 4th of September. So it's the day, uh, well, Edison actually goes back to school on Tuesday this year. So it's two days before he goes back to school. Um, so yeah, we thought we'd bring him on a day out down here as a sort of before back to school treat. There's Edison, he's our little three-year-old, so he's three years, yeah. nine months old. Um, and he's 104 centimetres tall. And Emma, Emma here is 19 months old tomorrow. And yeah, she's like 80 odd centimetres tall. So she's free. Edison, we had to pay for. Um, it was like 116 pound, I think, for the family of three um, to book in advance. Um, but we were meant to come two Sundays ago, but instead we um, had to push it back because Edison was ill and Emma was ill, so <laughs> we had to pay 20 pounds and you can move your ticket date. So anyway, go I forgot my camera, so everything's gonna be filmed on my phone today, sadly, but there we go. But let's get inside, because Ed Edison needs to use the loo. So do I, I which wanna stretch our legs really. So we'll see you when we get inside. Ah, oh, so we're at the front of the park. We just use those toilets behind us. They got them just outside the front there. That's the entrance where you uh, get your tickets scanned in. Yeah, they do have a couple of these like check your height things over here because if you're one meter or over you've got to pay for your child but if they're under then you don't have to i think there might be an age restriction as well like the child's four or over i think you might have to pay but uh yeah they have a, a ticket booth over there as well let's get inside anyway and for the third time with edison and the second time with emma we're inside <laughs> So we got the gift shop to the left, the big toy shop. We'll have a look in there later. And to the right, we've got the Wild Forest Cafe, which we've never eaten in, but it does look quite nice, quite nice and cozy. I'm sure the food's lovely. Yes, we're inside. It's actually a really quiet day here. And um, when we turned up to the car park, normally we always park in the overflow car park because it is, um, it is actually like half 11 at the moment. Like we left at nine o'clock, park opens at 10. Um, and it's half 11 right now and um, it's still empty we parked in like you know the main smaller car park um, and there was loads of spaces there so I imagine all the rides are going to be between 5, 10, 20 minute queues max so I think Mummy's sort of taking us towards Peppa Pig World first so we'll see you there see what the rides and queue times are like there is always like really nice and neat and well kept this park um, yeah and this is the the new area that they built like one or two years ago, sort of during COVID, I guess, maybe. Maybe it probably halted, but that's the whole Tornado Springs area. You can see there's like little car rides there, and a big roller coaster. But we're, uh, we're going to head this way. Edison's really excited. <laughs> uh, we're going to head this way. Uh, we've got Peppa Pig World in this direction, like over the back there. And we are about to enter Peppa Pig World. <laughs> So we haven't actually done much of this uh, world because the last two times we've been, it's always been on sort of busy days. Um, so we've only ever done like one or two rides here, but we might end up doing a bit more. Yeah, it's very well themed this area. Grandpa Pig's house. And we've got a helicopter ride, a balloon ride. Helicopter. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. Which one do you want to do first, Edison? This one, is it? Yeah, man, then. Windy Castle. Just across the way from us, we can see is the Peppa and George meet and greet at uh, <laughs> the house there. Very cute. Quite a big line flat. We may do it later, we'll see. A oh, really cool like, little park behind us as well. Nice big slides and little climbing frames and such. Swings. Yeah, it's really cool, yeah. Like I say, it's really clean and well kept. And we know in that building over there, there's also a soft play. Like George's soft play, play zone or something. So, yeah, love it here. So I don't know if you know this, we put Emma in a pretty Christmas pepper dress. She looks very cute. Don't you ever? Yeah. And Edison, turn the reins. Let me just whipped up this this morning in about 20 minutes on a cricket machine. A nice, just pepper big one. She was gonna sort of find a. Uh, <laughs> you showed it to me as well, are you? She was going to find uh, what it was called SVG for Peppa and George and put that on, but we're just taking too much time, so we're just stuck with Peppa Pig. We'll be waiting for about 10 minutes now, we're nearly at the front, and we're going to head on Windy Castle. Right, we're on, and Emma's screaming her head off. 
Just doesn't want to be on the road, so he's over tired. Well, at least Edison's having a good time. He's spinning us around. A nice view from up here as well, the whole park. Whee! And we're off. Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was well fun for Edison and everyone else but Emma in a bad mood screaming because she hasn't slept on the way in the car well it was her own choice bless her um, yeah next is Peppa Pig's balloon ride as we can see there's literally no queue for this one so it's going to walk around wait until we can get on and then me and Edison are going to do this one while Mummy waits with Emma or maybe Mummy will go on a different ride with Emma she'll uh, tolerate it Let's get on anyway. Whoa! We're up in the sky, Edison. You're turning us around. Whee! Another nice view from up here. Can't see Mummy and Emma. I don't know whether they're on a the ride or not, but they're not. Hey, below. Woo! Can't you see the penguin enclosure up there? They're doing some feeding. Like a little talk. <laughs> Whoa, Edison! Mummy and Emma are trying the train ride, but Emma was just crying her eyes out, bless her over there. Aww. She's just too tired. She, we did try and nap. Wow, we were hoping she would nap the car the way here, but she hasn't, so never mind. Here's Mummy and Emma. There they are. I was going to take Edison on that train ride, but he said he didn't want to go on it. And then when we were waiting for Mummy at the exit, as she was coming off, he would start crying then, saying that he did want to go on it. But managed to talk him out of it. And we're going to go on Daddy Pig's car ride instead. Says it's a zero minute queue. Or a zero minute wait, which, as you can tell, that's true. we we'll go on this one now. Looks really cute, actually. Wow, Edison, you're driving the car. <laughs> <laughs> Beep, 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 beep. Is this fun? <laughs> so cute, all the scenery and stuff as well, of all the, uh, just little Peppa Pig stuff. It's Danny Dog and Grandad Dog over there with their tow truck. Woo! Wow. Oh, that was fun, wasn't it, Edison? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. That was cool, wasn't it? You drove the car all the way around the track. Well done. That was a cool ride. Daddy enjoyed that one. It was a lot faster than I thought. <laughs> Let's go find Mummy anyway and see what uh, ride we're going to go on next. Ah, it's a little pit stop. Um, Emma's looks a bit sad. I'm She's sad. having a crisp. I will have some, thank you. Edison's going to have a sandwich. We bought like meal deals and stuff before we came. Mine. So. No, thank you. I'm going to have my own. And then we're going to go on maybe this George Big Dinosaur. Mummy's going to change Emma somewhere. Which could sort of take it in turns, probably just to take Edison on most of the rides, I imagine. Because Emma's a bit sad, bless her. <coughs> Hopefully she'll cheer up later on and she'll go on stuff. Uh, but if not, it'll just be a day for Edison. Mmm! So Daniel and Edison are going on the um, George's dinosaur adventure, which is this one over here where you like sat on it and it like wobbles back and forward. You can see someone coming around now. And I'm going to take this one change her, probably change right this dress because it is quite warm today, like although it's like cloudy and overcast it's actually like 20 degrees um, it's got a slight breeze but it's still really warm, this is quite tight on her I'm going to change into a t-shirt and leggings instead um, and we'll save this for later then because there's a sand pit area and a um, splash pad area so we'll save this later, maybe put it back on if we need to a few moments later so one nappy change and change of clothes later for this one we're back waiting for Mummy and Edison who are queuing on this ride before we uh, left. So we're waiting for them to come round. And then we'll be on to the next one. There's quite a lot left still to do. We haven't done this one or we haven't done the... There's like a little boat one there that's turning round. There's a boat one just behind us as well. So we've got plenty to do in Pepperland. That's just in Pepperland. And then we've got lots to do around the rest of the park too, Emma. Yeah. Look at those miles now. Hello, Edison. Is that fun? Woo. 
Ah, so now there's like a little section here called Little Africa. So there's going to be some animals here. If we look over here, we've got some meerkats. Oh, and some right here. God bless them. Look over there, Edison, look. Meerkats. I think they're all sleeping, aren't they? And there's the one, the locate one up on top, as per usual, whenever you go and see a meerkat enclosure. Wow, and there's actually a nocturnal part in here, so we're inside in the dark. Luckily, we dressed Edison in white, so you can kind of see him fairly easy. But this would be ideal to get Emma to sleep in. I couldn't tell you what's in your mind, a fenna fox, apparently. Must be asleep, because I don't see it with my eyes anyway. I don't know whether I picked it up on camera. And this one, you can see that sort of big mouse, really. He's cute, isn't he, Edison? I see a snake here, Edison. Look, look, he's moving. There's his head. Oh. That's interesting. It's a millipede in that one, Edison. The and we got geckos in there. In the and that's the end of the sort of nocturnal section anyway. There's a nice little outdoor section to it as well. It looks like you got sort of African beards and such at the top there. Very cool, very cool. A nice little sort of aviary for them. And that's obviously all the different birds you can find in here. The next Edison wants to go on Grumpy Peaks sailing club or grumpy rabbit sailing club i should say which is like these little twirling boat things over here so says it's a 10 minute queue so we'll see you when we get on yay the sun we're on the boat ride grandpa pig's boat ride this is fun oh we're bumping off the sides nice scenery again all the pepper. <laughs> there they all are, having a party. Having a picnic. And there's Mummy and Emma waiting for us. <laughs> is this fun? Yeah, it's just cool, isn't it? Whee! Oh, we're going in a tunnel. Wow. It's like the Queen's Palace or something. Oh. Very fancy. Wee! <laughs> ah, this is fun, Edison. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to jump in. You're right. They're going to get wet and splash, aren't they? A big splash. But we've got one more corner and then we're at the end then. That was a fun ride though, wasn't it, Edison? I enjoyed that. Maybe we'll try this car right next. This is zero minute queue. You can see lots of empty ones going, so maybe we'll jump on that. Oh, so Emma's having a little run rain. She didn't want to sleep. She had a little granddad rabbit. So we're going to try this uh, car ride now with the both of them. See whether Emma screams or not. Whether she'll enjoy it. <laughs> so as this ride's up in the air, we've got to walk up the steps. And then here's the entrance. I'll start the queue. And there's em Emma. <laughs> Moaning already, bless her. Well, this is the one we're going on, the Queen's Flying Coach. Yeah. Woo! Emma did just have a little moment as we got on, but she seems to be okay at the moment. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Hello, Mrs. Queen. Hello, Mrs. Welcome Queen. Welcome to my castle. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> wow. The Queen's giving us a tour. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. We were just on the boat, staying there. And this is the rest of Pepper World, you can see. It's a nice view. Ah, oh, this is fun. One more turn and then we're back to the start. We get off anyway. So next we're going to go probably to a bit more thrilling ride, because I think Edison enjoys these rides, but he's like... No, not bored of them, but he's just not super excited by them. He just enjoys them. <laughs> so we're going to go on like things like the pirate ship, something's a bit more faster, caterpillar coasters for him. Um, so we're moving out of Peppa Pig World now into the next one. So thank you for visiting Peppa Pig World. So I think that's probably us done in there for the day. I mean, it'd be cool if uh, the kids weren't like, well, if Emma wasn't like she is, <laughs> we could sit and watch a show. I think we're going to take him in this direction. Maybe go on like the Caterpillar Coaster or Contiki. Or oh, Mummy wants to give him a fun drink as well, like a fruit shoot or something. So 
Okay, we'll find something like that first before we move on. So this one's called Contiki. I bet this went on this last time. <laughs> Mummy was scared filming him. <laughs> so he's gonna go on there while I sort of look after Emma and the pram as it rolls away. And they're off back and forth. <laughs> wow, it's picking up speed already. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow! Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh god, I bet they're gonna get so dizzy. Woo! I bet it's gonna love this one though. A bit more thrilling for him, bless him. Little thrill seeker he is. Don't think Emma would like it though. She's playing with stones down here. <laughs> Woo! Mummy's gone to sort of find him a drink over in that uh, coffee place over there. Um, yeah, just uh, took out of them for a wee in the toilets. And uh, these two are sort of trying to chase these ducks around, or at least try and smooth them. The ducks obviously must get fed because they're coming really close. And then Emma's waving to them, <laughs> bless her. <laughs> Woo, it's a duck! Wow! And also you can hear the noise from the uh, pirate play, which they do at 12.30, 2.30 and 4.30 I think, or maybe 3.30. Basically not now because it's 1.30, so... <laughs> Never mind, never mind. Ah, oh, Emma's had a little dance to the music then, in her bram. <laughs> but Mummy got Emma a cookie and a fruit shoot each. And a uh, little duck, like Edison sort of offered his cookie to a duck and it did try and sort of steal it off him. So luckily Edison held on with two hands. And yeah. He's concerned now because the ducks are hungry. Ah, oh, now he thinks the ducks are going to be hungry because he's still got his full cookie. But never mind, never mind. I'm going to head around this way anyway to go, finally. I know I've said this a couple of times to the Caterpillar Coaster. Change of plan, there was a big uh, queue for that other one. So we're gonna go into Tornado Springs and Mummy wants to watch me go on this big roller coaster whilst the kids are sort of fairly quiet with their cookie and their fruit shoot. <laughs> Did eat in this restaurant last time, we had some Tornado fries, so. Yeah, it was quite nice actually, and it was last time anyway, quite reasonably priced. I don't know whether they've increased the price on that, but we'll see, we'll see, but yeah. Well, she wanted me to try this big, like, swingy spinning one first as well. Uh, ahead of us, I don't know what it's called, that cyclonator. But as it's a five minute wait, she'd rather me do a zero minute wait of this roller coaster. So let's see, anyway. Come here. Oh, stones. Just waiting for daddy. He's going on this big one. Daddy just gone for a wee over there. Me and Emma are in this little cute pack. She's perked up a little bit, but she still had no nap. She had a cookie and a fruit shoot, and she seems to have had a second wind now. So uh, fingers crossed, she carries on like this for the rest of the day. Are you dancing? So that's two of the big rides done by me. The roller coaster is brilliant. The Magma Storm, I think it's all. Storm Chase, actually, sorry. Um, really fast, they're proper because the carts turn as you're on it. Um, it just whips you around some of the corners and it's so, so quick. And honest to God, that one then I just did the cycling eight there. Jesus. That was like one of the most intense rides I think I've ever been on. It's like, you just go so high on it and it's like really fast. It's like, honestly, like a, a giant swing. But um, you keep like feeling as though you're gonna like your legs gonna fly off in the air, like but, uh, really enjoyable anyway. But uh, very intense, so 
good fun ride and mummy's been in the park with these two don't know if she's done any filming in yet but um got some nice little packs so she got this one here which they've been in while i was on the cyclinator there's actually another slightly bigger one like over by there that uh, they've been in too so I'm gonna just chill out here let them have a little play and then we're gonna go well somewhere else maybe on some more rides we'll see the next Edison and Mummy are going to go into Al's Auto Academy driving school. It says it's a five minute wait. So they're going to drive these little cars and me and Emma will watch them. They just got to walk all the way around the queue first. So we're in like a little Route 66 shop. It's quite cute. Lots of little merchandise for the uh, new Tornado Springs area stuff. So lots of sweets, t shirts, the usual stuff. Even little pens and key rings as well, and toys, of course. I'll tell you what, some of the stuff is very reasonably be priced in here. I mean, these pots of sweets, I know it's only like white mice, but only 2 50 And these ponchos, you get a twin pack of emergency ponchos for 150 Really good. Not extortionate at all. Change of plan. So, Mummy said there was actually like a lot longer than five minute wait. So, Caterpillar Coaster. Looks like the queue has gone right down from the last time we came over here, about an hour ago. So, as it's a zero minute wait, we'll take this little one on it. While me and Emma eat our white mice chocolate. <laughs> so just behind us, while we could take Emma on, it's like a little sort of train journey ride. Looks a little cute. Maybe we'll go on that, we'll see. But for now, it's sort of been about five minutes, just mostly like the slow offloading and, and loading of people if I'm honest because it looks like they only got one operator here but looks like they're ready to go now off they go Oh, was that fun, Edison? Oh, he's gone under there. What's in here? Oh, this is scary. Emma's coming too, and Mummy. They got lots of sort of, you know, insect and frogs exhibits. Panther chameleon. In there somewhere. And you got all these fish aquariums. This is cool. I like this. All these fish. Look at that iguana, it's like under the heat lamp, keeping nice and warm. And then there's a turtle down below. Very nice. But I think we're towards the end of it now and Edison needs another wee. So we're going to go find him another toilet. Snake. Lots of these areas are very well themed and stuff. Like I know these are probably only like back rooms and stuff, but this looks so cool. We're just sort of finding Edison a toilet and we've sort of back to like, this is the main entrance. And I know there's some toilets right by here. So we'll take Edison and then we're going to head over in that direction. If you can see the top of the log flume there and go on some of the rides over there. A few moments later. Not one of these floating water balls at the front of the park here. <laughs> Horton's Park on the 17th of May 1983. Is that when it opened, is it? Let's have a look around. Yeah, the opening. Very nice. Like I say, we're going to head that way to Dinosaur World on the log flume rides and stuff. Woo! Just to my right over there, they got a changing, like changing toilets for obviously disabled people. Um, baby care centre. And then this one, it says it's an extra large luggage lockers. And you can see the purple ones there. They are like extra large as if you can fit suitcases in and stuff. So I wonder whether that's the case. It's interesting though, in case you're on holiday and you were sort of packed up and on your way home. I don't know why you wouldn't just leave her in the car, but maybe some people come in taxis and have to bring this stuff with them and they can store it while they go around the park for the day. It's cool. Let's head off to the next area anyway. I know I keep saying it, but it is so well like kept in such a nice like grind to this park. Lots of trees and it's all well maintained. There's lots of like nice features and waterfalls and stuff like that. And they got nice little sort of animal exhibits like any way round as well as all the different rides and stuff. So it's really, really good park. We enjoy it. 
nice that they have these like ride etiquette sort of signs dotted around the park as well to remind people of uh, you know not to push in and stuff because I get I guess they probably do get a lot around here but as you can see up ahead that is the splash pad area which we want to do later on at the end and not now but we're going to do a couple more rides first and probably the sand pit and then the splash pad at the end one of the kiosk hot foods not terrible price stuff but it's obviously just theme park prices really that's for that pavilion there next on our list is this boulder dash one Woo! so fast with your rain but we're queuing up with Emma but I don't think she can go on because I think it's like a, a height limit like a 90 centimeter one so Mummy will probably go on with Edison is it it's up to you we got another we're going on the cat pillar or the coaster next the dinosaur one so we'll uh take it in soon while this one watches so we're all actually on boulder dash we're all strapped in ready to go I wonder whether Emma's going to enjoy it or not. She's actually laid on there. We thought it was going to be a height restriction, but it's not apparently. It's just um, an age restriction. And then uh, if you're a certain height, you can ride on your own. But other than that, you can come on. Well, that's it. Hold on tight. We'll be off soon. Is that fun, Edison? Yeah. Woo, Emma. Whoa. As there was no queue, we're gonna have another go. So I'm not actually allowed to film on the ride, so I got some sneak footage last time. But we're in a different one. We're gonna have another go, Edison. So that one was fun, Emma enjoyed that. That's probably the first ride that she's enjoyed all day. So we actually went on it twice. I would have went on it again, but we're gonna go and try something else now. You can see him in the background. Oh bless her, I think she almost fell then. But uh, yeah, we're going to probably head over to the dinosaur coaster now. Um, and I'll do that one with Edison. And yeah, maybe I'll do some of the big coasters while they're in the sandpit area. We'll see. Next on our list is the Dino Chase roller coaster. So we can't actually film on this one because we're all allowed to go on it together. Emma's allowed on it. Apparently, there's no height restriction again. So we can all go on it together. So that'll be fun. You excited? Yeah. Ah, so that was fun. Me and Danielle did just buy the uh, the pictures, so I'll put a picture of them now. But we're in the sort of little explorer sandpit area, which again Edison loved last time he came. So just let him have a little play in here for a bit. Just a chillate, cool off a bit. And then we'll may go on some more rides before we go in the splash pad, but we'll see. That was a good fun 10 15 minutes there. Kids enjoyed it. I didn't enjoy us taking them away though, at least Emma didn't. She's in a pram now with some white mice. We're gonna head over hopefully to some swings and the log flume it's over this way and then maybe we'll finish in the splash pad. But off we go to the next area. Hopefully it's this right here. So we got the sky swinging next, those who are just queuing up. This is the ride they're gonna be going on. <laughs> Scary. Woo, off they go. Wow, it looks so fast. There they are there. Woo! <laughs> Woo! Looks quite intense to be fair. <laughs> oh my gosh. Woo! Holding on to him tight. As requested by Edison, me and him are going on this time. <laughs> and the swings, I don't mummy will be able to film it because she's got her hands full with Emma, so. Me and him, we'll see you after the ride. 
Oh, well, that was fun. Nice, uh, good swing ride, that. But uh, next, the plan is we're going to get them dressed into their wet clothes, take them on the wet rides, and then into the splash pad. So, see you once they're, once they're ready. And after that fearful ride, we're finishing off in the splash zone. <laughs> it's not the like warmest of days, but it's not cold either. So we'll probably spend like 10 minutes in here while they, uh, you know, so they don't get too cold and then uh, leave. The water is, yeah, cold. <laughs> What's next? Pepper World. We're in Pepper World. Oh, so that was super fun. That was like Emma's favorite thing ever, I think. She uh, seemed to enjoy that most out of everything today. Edison loves it, he's always loved it. I mean, he had a whale of a time as well. Got soaked. He's uh, finding dinosaurs now, so I don't know if he'll, he can make it because the sun's so bright, but there's a sort of raptor up on top there. No, it's not a raptor, but big dinosaur making noises anyway. But I think we're gonna head to the exit now via the gift shop because it's 26 minutes past four. Emma hasn't slept, we haven't had tea. We need to go to the hotel and check in. So we need to get tea. So yeah, head towards the exit. Now we're at the park exit. Have you had fun today, Edison? Yeah, it was really good, wasn't it? I had a great day as well. Enjoyed your day, please leave a review, which we probably will do. So we're gonna head to the park exit now. If we take a right, we're gonna have a look in the gift shop, maybe treat the kids to something. Um, but yeah, let's take a look anyway before we head out and end the vlog. And as usual, it's just a big souvenir shop full of everything you can possibly imagine. Sweet souvenirs, or pepper toys, or teeny beanie baby toys, everything you can imagine. See if we can find anything for these kids. We've taken it around the store and tried to uh, tempt him with a snappy shark. We didn't want that. But instead, he's going to get pepper jigsaws. I mean, it's eight ninety nine 99 for... It's like a box of four, like the same ones as he's sort of got, but in fact he's got this set at home, these four. He's really good at them, so now we're going to do this four, so they're different ones. It's going to be nice to do. 
Emma's, Emma's holding some pepper toy, so I don't know whether we're getting that or not. But... She just won't put it down. Like, I've tried other things, but she will not put that thing down. Yeah, so maybe we'll get that. We'll see. Anyway. I'm going to go pay for these and head out the shop. And we're back at the car. So I just had to swap the bows because one of them had fallen off. Um, so I quickly ran back to the shop and uh, they kindly just swapped it over for us, which is great. The staff are so lovely here. That's uh, one of the main good things about Portland's Park. But we've had a brilliant day here. But we've still got a busy evening ahead. So we're going to leave the vlog there. So with that, hope you enjoyed. Ah, oh, so even though... Uh, Ended the vlog at Peppa Pig World, thought I'd do a bit extra just to show this is our first time having a sleepover, really, at a hotel anyway, all together. So the kids are just being crazy, jumping on the <laughs> but they're playing nice together. <laughs> it's quite warm in the room, so uh, yeah, Emma's going to stay in a vest, Edison's in his vest and shorts. Yeah, we're going to have Edison sleeping in this bed, me and Mummy obviously in the main bed, and then for a spin round, we brought a travel cot for Emma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like seven o'clock almost, and Emma hasn't crashed yet, bless her. She's uh, still going strong, and she hasn't napped today, so hmm, don't know what the night's going to be. Hopefully it's going to be a good night, and everyone has a nice long sleep, but we'll see anyway, we'll see. But now I'm going to leave the vlog there, so with that. I'm going to try that,